Yo, what's up guys? Clint is here, back in the world of Destiny, and Rise of Iron is here! Oh my gosh, I just got done with a 12-hour stream. I was up at 2 a.m. Well, actually, I was up to one, I was up at 1.30 a.m., but 2 a.m. when it dropped, Pacific Standard Time, and I streamed for 12 hours till 2 p.m. I completed every single quest line uh, and every mission that came with Rise of Iron. Uh, I've got multiple things to show you guys. First and foremost, check it out. We are at the Iron. We are at the Iron Tower at Phil Winter's Peak. This thing is massive. You can see people are climbing up on the top there because there might be some secret stuff up there. You might want to look at the top of the Phil Winter's Peak. Uh, but this thing is dope. When you first get here, you, there's a few things for you to do. You're like you like this fire, you like that fire, you like this fire over here. There's all the things you would expect to find in a tower. You have the bounty tracker. You got this dude down here. This is uh, this is Shiro. He's kind of like. Um, Lord Saladin's right-hand man. He's pretty awesome. He's not cool. As, he's not as cool as Cade, but he's a, a, a close second. You're going to go to him a lot Get looking for up. stuff to do. Missions, quest lines, that sort of thing. Um, over here, you got your Postmaster standard issue. You got um, um, your, what do you call it, Eververse to buy your emotes, which, by the way, got my Gundam style. Oop, Gundam style. Oop, oop. Yeah, so good. Uh, you got your vault, of course, as well, to pull up stuff to out of your vault. Ingrams, guns, that sort of thing. Uh, and then, of course, you have Lord Saladin himself, perched right here. This is his and new home. What can I do for the young wolf today? The young wolf. That's our new name, guys, young wolf. Uh, inside here, you got Tyra Karn. She's a Cryptarch. You'll get a lot of stuff from her. All right. First and foremost, the first thing you're going to see is she sells the Iron Lord artifacts, baby. Three right now to choose from. Memory of Yolder, which is one I got. Memory of Silmar and the Memory of Timur. Um, so, really cool. But you're going to be going to her a lot. Inside here, guys, is the is the, the, the epic... This is the epic scene here. The cut scene at the end. Right? You've got all the Iron Lord statues. And as you get your artifacts, you're going to light up... You're going to light these up as you get the artifacts. So, this is Yolder right here that I've got since I got uh, her memory. Uh, there's bells in here that you can ring, all that stuff, yada, yada, yada. But uh, you're going to spend a lot of time in this iron tower, and it's really cool. I actually really like it. I like the fact that it's, like, very vertical, right? It goes up and down. Iron uh, Iron Lord here, Lord Saladin, he's going to sell all your iron banner gear. So you can buy your shadows, uh, your shaders and emblems prior to that. Um, I have not really explored this thing around. There is a ghost right here, by the way. FYI, there's a dead ghost right here. Uh, I don't know if there's any more dead ghosts around here. I have not really looked. There are some things up there, so you'll want to go up there and look. One of them is super hard to get to. Uh, but anyways, there it is, baby. The one thing that I was looking forward to more than anything else, more than the Galahorn, is the Kvostov. That is the auto, exotic auto rifle that you started with. It was a common that you got, the very first gun you got in the game. Now it's in the exotic slot, and there's all kinds of cool things. You can make it an automatic. You can make it a pulse rifle. You can make it a scout rifle. There all, all the best perks for a rifle are on here to customize it. And it's even got its own um, uh, ornaments, which I have none yet. I don't know how you get ornaments yet. I think you can only get them from drops, like endgame content, like Trials of Osiris, or from uh, Xur. But we'll see. Really cool stuff. Uh, I got that. I got uh, the Waltz, which is a pulse rifle from Future War Cult. It's actually like a hawk saw. It's very good. I actually love this pulse rifle a lot. Um, I bought this Zero Day Dilemma from Crucible. Um, it has some good perks on it. I love the way it looks. But with Brace Frame, it only has 18 uh, bullets in the mag. So it kind of goes quick. It's kind of hard, to, it's kinda hard to, to, to manage. I don't think it's a PvP gun. I think it's okay for PvE, but not for PvP. Uh, over here, I've got uh, the very first thing I bought was this um, waiting fusion rifle. It's a future war cult vendor fusion rifle. It's got range finder, knee pads, and accelerated coils. That fast charging, fast sliding fusion rifle. I'm excited to take that into the crucible and give it a try. I also got the wormwood. This was in a drop. Super sick sidearm, guys. Uh, future war cult has a sidearm now. Came with range finder, fitted stock, and hip fire. I keep forgetting to use hip fire. I actually been, I've been using. Aim down my sights because this is what I do, but I forgot about that. But I got that. And then, uh, of course, we have the Iron Galahorn. Now, of course, you got this if you pre ordered Rise of Iron. Uh, now, here's the trick a lot of people are asking me all day long on my stream, people are asking me, how, why can't I use this? Because you get it right away. As soon as you load the game, it's in your Postmaster, it's there. It's only at three uh, attack, and you can't use it. And the reason why is because all that is is a pretty version of of this weapon and this is the actual galahorn this is what you actually have to take a quest to do to actually make it 
All right, you actually forge this, and it's a whole quest line. Once you have this unlocked, then you can use this one. You can infuse it and you can use it, and that's that. So that's where it is. Uh, the quest is called Beautiful Something, and in order to get it, you have to basically finish the Rise of Iron quest line, and it's one of the quests that you get. To get the Kvostov, uh, you have to find the Kvostov's, um, like, um, frame? What, what's it called? Oh, God, I'm having a brain fart. You have to find an object out in the Plaguelands. It's in the skiff off to the far right when you first come into the very first, the second mission, the second mission of the game. It's in the skiff on the right. You have to go find it. Once you have that, the quest line will kick off. Um, you get the Young Wolves Howl. This is the reward for finishing the Rise of Iron quest line. This is your reward. It's an exotic sword, solar sword, and it kicks ass. It has that one hit punch. It's amazing. Um, it's got two ornaments. This one kind of gives it a, a traditional look, and this one gives you that broken... Uh, like lava look, which I love. Like I really want that one bad, but uh, super awesome. Those are the new weapons I got. Um, as I said earlier, I got Memory of Jolder, the artifact, which gives you, uh, you know, removes the sprint cooldown penalty. Um, got a couple of cool um, arm bonds. Got this new Eon Tracer bond from Future War Cult. I like that a lot. I also got. Uh, I think this is an older one. It's it had. I think it's it brought they brought it back. I don't think that's a new one. I think it's a, a year one one. Uh, same thing with this one, Thought Lantern. This is an old, an oldie but goodie, right? That's back. Uh, as far as boots go, armor. I haven't got a whole lot of armor. Like this is the this is the Crucible chest piece. I like the color scheme. It's orange and blue now. Uh, Vanguard's orange and blue as well, but it's just a different color. Um, and I got this new exotic. This is the only new exotic that I got. That's an armor piece. The uh, Ast Astro Sight Verse. It's pretty awesome. I like the way it looks. Uh, it's perk exotic perk is it temporary increases uh, increase the recovery of blink so you can blink a lot more so it's definitely a void walker armor build um, other than that I didn't really get any other new pieces of armor worth mentioning I've been really sticking to guns because every time you open a package and I get to pick what you want you can either pick weapon armor or chroma pieces which I'm not quite sure what the chroma pieces are I think it's older stuff maybe I'm not sure um, but I also got a ghost which I'm really excited about this there's the fact that there are now ghosts and Sparrows, guys. I got a future war cult sparrow. I like it a lot. It's pretty dope. Of course, if you pre pre ordered Rise of Iron, you got the Iron Gala Wing, which is also dope. I would, I rock this pretty much the whole campaign. It's awesome. I love it. And you also get the Gala Horn. Very cool. Very cool. Um, I haven't got any new ships. Um, there was only one new emblem, which is like this owl sector looking emblem kind of cool still don't know what Al sector is i don't have any new shaders either um that's that's about it for the new stuff i'm trying to think oh wait i almost forgot progress so there are new iron banner bounties these archons forge bounties that you get from shivo all right and then you have the record book rise of iron record book okay there's all of these uh uh all of these uh what do you call it the packages that you can get I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to grab that package there. I got that one. One per character. Okay, got one there. Uh, but there's your there's your arms. There's your legs. Your iron shell. Your chest. Your HUD. Emblems. And there's a sick looking shotgun. Check this out. This thing looks awesome. I want all of them to look like that. I don't know if this it rotates every week or what. That's like It says, it says level 14. But uh, there's a lot of stuff in here uh, to complete. It's going to take you a while to do this. As you can see. Um, I'm rank three right now as it is. The Crucible has its own stuff. Wrath of the Machine, that's the that's the um, that's the raid. The Plague Lands, and then of course Iron Rising. Very, very excited about all of this stuff um, to play on. You got a new shader which looks really cool too. I think that's it guys. I think that's I think that's it. But uh yeah. I really, really love Rise of Iron. I mean, I, I don't know what else to say. Like, I played it for 12 hours. I streamed it for 12 hours. I loved it. That was everything that I could think of doing, including a couple playing a couple of Supremacy matches. Supremacy is the new game mode. I played on one new map. I played Supremacy Rumble, and I played straight Supremacy, which is 6v6. It's like Kill Confirmed. Very, very fun. Very, very cool. Um, this is what the new directory looks like. We got, we got the uh, Iron Temple, which is where we were just at. This is the first mission that you kick off, and then all of the missions that have the axe on it 
are all the new missions. And basically, this is the Plague Lands. It's all cut off here on the right hand side of the screen. Uh, you got the new Strike, which is the Wretched Eye. You also have the Devil's Lair, which has an upgraded version. So there's two, technically two new strikes on that. Um, very, very cool stuff. Over here, you've got the Weekly Nightfall. You've got your Siva Crisis Heroic Strike. So if you go to your Vanguard Strikes here, you have the new Siva Crisis, right? Siva Crisis Heroic, Siva Crisis, right? So there you got you got the new ones there. Uh, and then, of course, uh, today's daily is Rumble, and this weekly is Rumble Supremacy. Very, very fun. Uh, I'm looking forward to playing that for many, many hours with you guys, with private matches. So let me know your thoughts, guys. Are you loving it? Are you excited? Have you had a chance to play it? What are your thoughts if you have had a chance to play it? What don't you like? What do you like? What do you wish Bungie did differently? Uh, I really want to know your thoughts. I'm going to be playing the crap out of this, guys. I'm going to be streaming it all week long. Be sure to subscribe. Be sure to turn notifications on so you get notified when I go live. Because you don't get notified when I go live unless you turn the notifications on. On your mobile device, hit the little bell. You get notified each and every time I go live. Never miss a live stream. I'll be back tomorrow, 9 a.m. Pacific, for my Titan. Then on Thursday, 9 a.m. Pacific, with my Hunter. And then Friday, 10 a.m. Pacific, with the new Raid. Streaming them live. It's going to be epic. It's going to be awesome. Hope to see you guys there. I'm exhausted. I'm going to go fall asleep. Thanks for watching. I'll see you tomorrow.